Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix the touch screen that's responding very slowly or has a delayed touch screen response uh, issue for your iPhone 11, iPhone 12, or the iPhone 13. So the first solution is to clear all the background apps on your device. Now to do that, you can swipe up from the bottom and this will open up all your apps in the recent app list and then just swipe up like this to close all of them okay so just close off the open apps once it's all closed then uh, see if that helps with your phone or not okay so if not you can try to restart the device so you can press and hold on the side key and the power button, I mean the volume down or volume up button. So press and hold like that, or you can press on the volume down button as well. And then just simply slide across to restart your device. Okay, the next solution is to uh, force reset, or you can perform a soft reset on your device. And to do that, you can press on the volume up, volume down, and then press and hold onto your side button. So let's do it now. Volume up, volume down, and then press and hold on the side key. Now continue to hold. Continue to hold until your device has uh, turned off and boot up with an Apple logo. So at this stage, continue to hold. And now let go. And this is a soft reset. It will allow your device to clear all the memory and sometimes the buggy app could cause the memory to corrupt and cause the screen not to function correctly. So perform a soft reset. This will not cause you to lose any data. So that's okay. You can go ahead and proceed and see if that helps. Now if it does not help, you can uh, proceed with the next solution and that is to install any pending updates for apps on your device okay okay to do that you can go to your home screen touch and hold on the app store icon from the pop-up menu tap on updates and in here you can go down and tap on the update all button you can see there are some apps that needs to update so you can tap on the update all button and allow all the apps in the list to update to the latest version so give that a try to see if it works or not. If it does not, you can go to the next solution. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the home screen now. And the next solution is to reset all settings on your iPhone. So from your home screen, tap on settings. In settings, go down and tap on general. Then swipe up to go down and tap on transfer or reset iPhone in here tap on reset and then tap on reset all settings okay so tap on that and then put in the screen passcode and this will proceed with the reset now this will not cause you to lose any data it just simply reset um, some of the settings on your device so for example you may need to reconnect to your Wi-Fi uh, because the settings has been uh, reset back to the default and that's it uh, give that a try and uh, see how you go now if that still does not work then uh, you can try to restore your device back to the factory default now before you do that you should try to back up your device to icloud so you can back up the data photos uh, phone numbers etc back to the icloud Otherwise, you can plug it into the Windows computer to back up to iTunes or back up to your Mac computer. And to reset your device, you can tap on settings. In settings, you can go down and tap on general. In here, tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Then choose erase all content in settings. And this will allow you to erase your device and it will go back to the factory default. So give that a try. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.